Hello and welcome to NRL with three 60 year olds. I'm Cameron Munster's agent. Now in particular, Buzz, you've just come across some shocking footage from the Warriors training camp already in Brisbane. So how are they handling the situation? Yes, Bryce, I've got a massive problem here with the New Zealand Warriors and basically how they're handling themselves as football players. If we can uh, pull up the footage here of Sean Johnson. Yes, that's one. Buzz, are you sure this is the right footage? Because it just looks like Sean Johnson walking through a puddle to get to training. Yes, but that's not the point. The point is that Sean Johnson is a senior player of the New Zealand Warriors. Now, you can clearly see in the image there that it says field closed. There's no entry. It's only authorised personnel. Now, that shows to me inappropriate behaviour. Oh, Buzz, I think you're a little bit harsh there. I mean, honestly, that just looks like a, just a typical joke with all the footy plays. I used to do that myself back when I was playing. All I can see here is he's displaying despicable and deplorable behaviour by disregarding the signs. Oh, Buzz, fair to How's that showing disrespect? Where, where's, where's the disrespect there? I don't see it. Even in the photo there, you could see he's pointing. He's, he's pointing to the sign and then his other finger's pointing to the field. Oh, Buzz. I'm a football player. I know these things. And I, I wasn't a very good football player, but I did make top grade, so my opinion warrants more than anyone else's. I can see them just showing some commitment there and willing to play, right, willing to play when the fields aren't good. That's commitment right there. Seriously. Well, I've spoken to the groundskeeper of that field there, and they've assured me that uh, no warrior player was named as authorised personnel. Oh, Buzz. Look, look, Kenzie, I can understand a little bit what Buzz is saying here because I wouldn't expect that sort of behaviour from, like, your top players of the game, you know, your monsters of the world and stuff. Now, I spoke to Graham Annesley. I have spoke to him for about 25 minutes, and I told him about the incident, and he said, well... If that was happening on the field, he would have sent the player for the 10 in the bin. So I think there might even be judiciary involved in these proceedings because something has to be done, fines have to be given out. Listen, even if it is against the rules, right, so what? Triple. So what? Who cares? Right? Who cares? It doesn't matter. All right? Stop complaining. that we, we want to see players who actually want to play and want to win. We want to see something out of the worries because the last few games they've had have been terrible. They've been no-shows. They've been pathetic. Triple. All right? If anything, this is good. It's a good thing to see this. Yes, Kent, and Kenty, the trouble doesn't stop there. If we pull up the footage of Reese Walsh on that same day, look, we see him sliding 20 metres on that ground, dismembering the grass, okay, and disregarding the rules. But that's because he's influenced by his leadership there in Sean Johnson. Buzz, Buzz, he's sliding along the ground. Trip. Players have been doing that since 1908 when they were playing in the mud. Kenty, I've got to disagree with you a little bit here because, you know, if you look at the top players right now this season, you know, uh, for example, your Cameron Munsters of the world, they're not acting up. They're, they're not in the headlines right now because they've got a good management side around them. And I think some of these Warriors players just need a little bit better management. Now, Kenty, these players get paid a fortune. They get paid hundreds of thousands the top players get paid millions just to play a game of football. Yeah, Buzz, even upwards of a million, about 1.3, 1.4, you know, for your Munsters in the world, your your Camerons and your, your agents of Cameron Munster, they'll, they'll make sure they get that sort of amount of money. All we're asking here is for them to just act with a bit of respect and dignity. Players of today just muck up way too much, not like the players back in the day, like your Joey Johnsons and your Matthew Johnsons and your Brian Fletchers. And that's going to do us for another episode of NRL with 360 year olds. Join us next week for the full coverage and recapping of Magic Round. I'm Cameron Munster's agent. See ya. Boys, I should have negotiated more for this. I can't put up with these two bastards. I need another million before I do next week's episode. Seriously, call Yvonne Sampson and get her back here now.